What's up ladies and gentlemen, Wolf Cryer here and today we're going to be talking about Diablo 3 and the second expansion pack that never came. Or did it? With BlizzCon less than four months away and talk and rumors popping up about what's going on with the Diablo franchise, fans of Diablo 3 continually weigh in on the forums with their thoughts and theories of what's to come for the franchise. Some people think Diablo 4 is inevitable, which it is, we just don't know when. Some think that we will be getting another class pack similar to the Necromancer, i.e. the Druid, and although I would definitely love to see the Druid in Diablo 3, it was my favorite class from D2. I don't know about that one, but then there are other people who seem to think that a full-blown expansion is on its way to this game. And that last one, in my opinion, is the most unlikely of these three theories to actually stand a chance at becoming a reality. As I've assumed and stated previously in a few videos, it is my personal opinion that we already have the second expansion to Diablo 3, and the majority of it players received for absolutely nothing, for free. Since the launch of Reaper of Souls, I believe that the development team for Diablo 3 had already begun work on the second expansion, an expansion that would never actually get a full release. If you look at the timelines of release dates for Diablo 3 and the first expansion, Reaper of Souls, Diablo 3 released in May of 2012, and Reaper of Souls came a mere one year, ten months later, in March of 2014. It is fairly well known that the initial plan was to release a second expansion for Diablo 3, according to the leaked Blizzard release schedule that has been floating around for years now. That second expansion was expected to be released about the same time frame, about one year, ten months after Reaper of Souls. Something, however, happened along the way, something that would change the future of Diablo 3. The team started to be shuffled around, the focus for the game changed. Blizzard, at that point, began placing a focus onto the future of the Diablo franchise instead of Diablo 3. It was at this point, shortly before Season 3 with Patch 2.2 and Season 4 with Patch 2.3, that this expansion began being released into Diablo 3 in portions. Patch 2.2 saw the first huge chunk of new content, including new sets for the Demon Hunter, the Wizard, and the Barbarian, new legendary items, new treasure goblins, and the addition of infinite potions. And then in Season 4, we got another big wave of that expansion added into the game. This included Kanai's Cube, which was a rather revolutionary part of D3, and not something that I think was whipped up between Season 3 and Season 4. We also got the new sets for the Monk, the Witch Doctor, and the Crusader in Season 4, along with a couple of new areas including the Ruins of Sesheron, which came with its own set of new monsters added to the game. We also got even more new legendary items during Season 4. Then the new areas of Grey Hollow Island and the Eternal Woods were released in Season 5 with Patch 2.4, this patch also contained the new set dungeons and over 50 new legendary powers. As time passed and seasons progressed, these major updates were fewer and farther between. This was probably due to the fact that the majority of the content from this expansion that had already been completed was already rolled out into the game. Then came the last big update to the game, the Necromancer Class Pack. The Necromancer, which I still firmly believe was meant to be a part of this unreleased expansion, 
and was in an unfinished state for quite a while, was announced at BlizzCon 2016. An announcement, I must add, that I suggested might happen during my videos at the time, approximately two to three weeks prior to the famous leaked Necromancer artwork. The Necromancer DLC brought with it more new areas, including the Cursed Realms, which had been data mined in patches going back earlier than Season 4. Once again, adding more possible confirmation that this wasn't something that was completely new, but rather things that have been in the works for quite some time. This patch also brought about the new armory and a new boss, as well as a slew of more new monsters. Now, individually, all of this added content looks like they were possibly standalone additions to Diablo 3, but when you look at the sheer magnitude of the additional content that was brought into this game, you quickly see that all these add up to what was at one point the second expansion for Diablo 3. So that leads me to completely believe that the odds of another expansion coming to this game so far in its lifespan is rather high, especially when you add in the massive balance update in patch 2.6.1 and all three seasons since being exactly the same as each other with no new content, no patches, no buffs, no reworks, no balance changes, no nothing whatsoever since patch 2.6.1 in season number 12. This is three seasons that have gone by with no PTR. I just don't see at this point in its lifespan that Diablo 3 is getting a second expansion, especially since they scrapped the first second expansion. Now, don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen. There's nobody on this planet who would want a second expansion to this game more than me because I would definitely buy it. I would definitely play it. And it is something that I would look forward to, especially if it included the Druid, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Blizzard. And I would be happily disappointed that I was wrong because I'd still be able to play this, but I do not see it coming. There is nothing in the works as far as an expansion for Diablo 3. I do think that the focus right now for Blizzard is Diablo 4 or whatever the next iteration of this franchise is going to be. Because to pour more money into this game after the Necromancer, the Necromancer, if they were going to release a second expansion, the Necromancer would have been part of it. End of discussion. They are not going to release a class pack in between expansions because that class would have been saved for the second expansion. That is firmly my belief. Nothing actually points to the possibility of an expansion. I know a lot of people out there are hoping for it, but I truly don't believe this is a possibility. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it brought some things to light as far as the second expansion for D3. Maybe it put everything all into perspective for you, but if not, or if so, let me know in that comment section down below. I definitely want to hear from you. I want this to be a discussion. Don't be mad at me because I have these feelings or opinions rather because I do think this is absolutely the case and this is exactly what happened with that second expansion. But once again, let me know in that comment section down below. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.